Hey dolls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Christmas bucket list. I know you're thinking, it's only November, what are you doing with the Christmas stuff? But do you know what I mean? I want you to be early, I want you to be able to be organised. I'm a Virgo, I love organisation. So I feel like a Christmas bucket list in November is fine. Um, I am going to start pushing out the Christmas content this week though, so just get used to it, I'm sorry. Um, I love Christmas and I'm feeling really festive. My hat um, is probably about to fall off my head because I've got a massive head. So today I'm filming my Christmas bucket list for you guys and I feel like give you some inspiration of how you can spend your December How you can spend the next few weeks leading up to Christmas and of course the big day itself Actually, I don't think I have anything for Christmas Day um, <laughs> Just have a good day. So the first thing I have on my list is make a gingerbread house guys You've got to decorate a gingerbread cat decorate a gingerbread house even if you can't make the actual house yourself so i understand that can be difficult cutting out the shapes and that get a kit make one yourself i think that'd be really fun you can have some christmas music playing in the background have a cheeky like hot chocolate while you make it and make a christmas gingerbread house you can decorate it with all the little what they call jelly tots and icing so christmasy so festive so fun i love it okay second one on my list do a movie advent calendar. Like, I know you get the chocolate advent calendars every year, but why not write down all your favourite Christmas films, like whoever you live with, make a little daily thing, and you guys can always pick them, like every day, do the nativity, do Santa Claus the movie, that's like one of my absolute favourites. You do the Christmas Carol, you can literally do everything, or you can write all in the list and do like Elf on Christmas Eve. We always do Elf on Christmas Eve, but this is like a thing I do a lot every year, most years with my family, we all watch a Christmas film, like leading up to Christmas every night, it just pops you props you it proper puts you in the mood for christmas it's so good i love i love doing it and i feel like if you look online as well if you don't want to make one yourself if you google it there's there'll be some online trust me okay. next thing is make your own hot chocolate with your favorite chocolate bar it's so easy to do so literally put on the pan just put a couple cups of milk whatever and then pour in your terry chocolate orange or your i don't know whatever your favorite chocolate is just mix it in slowly and it'll melt into your hot chocolate gorgeous and then have that while you watch the film kill two birds with one stone we love it so cute and festive put some cream on top whack a candy cane on the side of the cup take a picture of your instagram story come on the and i just love everything festive i'm so extra that that is just perfect for me and you can make a little tiktok on you making your favorite hot chocolate tag me in it if you do it tag me in it or tag me in your story if you make a hot chocolate and then put a little candy cane in it or something fun if you make one of these hot chocolates tag me in it okay like, buy matching pajamas is the next one so buy like christmas pajamas anyway but buy matching pajamas as well if you can with someone in your house like your sister your mom or if you're a boy, your brother, your dad, whatever. I just think that's fun. Like having matching pajamas, that's cute, right? That's fun. I do it every year with my family. On Christmas Eve, we all wear matching pajamas. You can get them quite cheap as well. Like Sainsbury's do them, Primark do them. Yeah, you can get matching pajamas. Or if you live on your own, then get yourself a pair of cute Christmassy pajamas. Right, next on my bucket list is make some DIY decorations. Making DIY decorations or like homemade gifts and stuff is really nice because I feel like Christmas is all about like being sentimental, being all cute and like, I don't know <laughs> like authentic do you know what i mean and like making that time to like put into your decoration you'll remember the time you met every time you put it up you'll like remember oh like that was me when i made it do you know what i mean i remember making that one that year or making the one that other year do you know what i mean it's really cute um you could do like little stars you could paint them if you go to hobbycraft if you live in the uk you can get like loads of stuff you can just paint or you can decorate yourself or like add glitter to and you can make like ball balls or you know you can make probably a reef making reefs are fun like you can just go to a walk which is actually another one i might as well just say now go for a winter walk but you could go on that walk and then like pick up the leaves and make a cute like reef yourself and like put some holly in it and just mistletoe and just make it all cute and hang it on your door like diy decorations definitely on the bucket list next one on my bucket list for christmas is do a secret santa i think the secret santas are so fun especially when they're actually kept secret you could even do it with people at work people in your house your friendship group you can do it with like three people as well three or four people you can do secret santa with just don't tell anyone who you've got i just think it's so fun like guessing and i love buying for someone as well like i just you can really personalize it set yourself a bucket Budget, like ten pound, five pound, whatever it is, just buy something cute, little for that person. It could be a jakey present or whatever, or it could be something really thoughtful. Like, you know, you can just get whatever you want for them. Fun to guess who got you, and you know, everyone always guesses. It's just exciting. So yeah, secret Santa on the bucket list. We love a secret Santa. The next one on my bucket list is I've already mentioned it, but go on a few Christmassy walks, wintery walks. Um, go find the woods, go find a forest. If you live in London or somewhere central, then go find a nice park. But it's so nice to like go for a wintery walk. Like the weather's nice, you can wrap up warm, take cute photos as well. 
love me a little Instagram pic. You can just go for a nice walk, a little stroll. It's really nice to get some fresh air because a lot of time in winter, I'll be stuck in the house all day or we're stuck inside shopping centres. But take yourself out of that. Take yourself for a nice winter walk and just like appreciate the weather, appreciate the season. And usually if you go in the evening as well, be safe, obviously. There's all that lights and stuff if you go to the right places or even walk around London at night. Like, oh my God, but be careful. Be safe, go for people. All the lights and stuff, so pretty. If this one's kind of personal to me, but you could adapt it to be whatever. I have never tried eggnog and this year I'm gonna try eggnog. I've literally never made it, never tried it. I've tried an eggnog latte from Starbucks a couple years ago. It was nice, but I really wanna try just my eggnog. So that's on my bucket list for Christmas this year. I need to try eggnog, I haven't had it before. I wanna try it, so that is on my bucket list. Next on my bucket list for Christmas is sending out Christmas cards. You don't understand how late I leave it to send Christmas cards out. Um, I need to remember this year, so it's on my bucket list to send them out probably like the first week of December. I don't know when's suitable for that. When do people send out their Christmas cards? Let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna send out Christmas cards this year. I wanna get some cute ones, send them out to people. I just think it'd be nice, you know? I love sending Christmas cards. I love receiving Christmas cards, so I'm probably like sending them to other people, so hopefully they like receiving them too. I don't know, I love receiving Christmas cards, I think it's cute. Okay, the next one's another drink related one, but I wanna make mulled wine, I love mulled wine. It's nice to take in a flask on your walks as well, so kind of all linked together, don't they? But having a nice mulled wine with like cinnamon, you can put orange in it, you get little mulled wine making kits. If you wanna use them, go use them. You get them in like B&M home bargains, I think. But yeah, mulled wine is gorgeous. I love mulled wine, so I'd like to make some at home myself and then, yeah, maybe share it out with the neighbours. Who knows? For being all festive and jolly, might as well. Next on my bucket list is very important and I feel like everyone should do it every year if they can. Um, and that is donate. So whether you donate to a charity or donate gifts, donate money, whatever you can do, help out a soup kitchen, donate some of your time. If you can't afford to donate presents or gifts, donate some of your time maybe. Um, but I think it's really important because I feel like Christmas is about giving. So try and help out the people that are not as, as, as fortunate. I mean, all year round is good to give back, but Christmas especially, like thinking of people that are like, you know, not have a roof over their head or are struggling at Christmas, like it's nice to help out, you know. But if you look around where you are, there'll probably be a charity food bank or anything like that you can donate to. So guys, go have a look in your area. Okay, the next one is check out Christmas lights in a neighbor in your neighborhood because I guarantee you there's someone down the road or a few streets down that's put up loads of lights and it'll look sick and it'll be good for pictures as well. Yeah, okay, pictures again. But it'll look cute. So go for a little walk, go for a drive out, go see the lights. There'll be loads of lights around. Everyone puts them up at the front of the house and they're so nice. I love them. So go for a little wander around, go see all the Christmas lights in the area, find your favorite house, you can go for family, have a little vote thing, see which your favorite. Um, yeah, I love looking at Christmas lights. So that's on my bucket list. Okay, so next on my bucket list is go to a Christmas market. So whether that be Winter Wonderland, if you're close to London, or you go to bath markets, or if you don't have anything that like that near you, then just Google it or look on Facebook or look on community groups. I don't know. There'll be something going on near you that's Christmassy. Find a Christmassy like market or event and try to go to that because I feel like really fun. You get hot chocolate, walk around, look at stalls, do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, that's on my bucket list this year. I love Christmas market. There's always like nice snacks and um, presents and gifts you can buy. And it's just a nice atmosphere, you know? Everyone's really excited and it's just cute. Next thing on my Christmas bucket list this year is going to see Christmas carols. So going to hear people sing like Christmas songs, basically. If you don't know what carols are, I don't know if you have them in your country, I don't know. Like Christmas carols, you know, like Ding Dong, Merrily or High and that. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, Christmas carols, I'd love to go see people singing them. I think like it's just cute. Like it just reminds me of like an old English town. Like I really want to go see some people singing Christmas carols. It's on my list, okay? It might be at Christmas markets and not have people singing them. But if you look up on Facebook or your community groups again, it, there'll be something going on with Christmas carols. Trust me, there's always a choir somewhere. Okay, next one is go for some Christmassy drinks. This is something I really want to do. There's low, there's actually a little bar in Reading, which is kind of cute with like log fires and stuff like that. But I want to go for some Christmassy cocktails somewhere. Go out with a few friends, have a, like a proper good catch up, you know, and have some Christmassy cocktails, try some cute Christmassy drinks and just have a little Christmassy night out. Can I say Christmassy anymore, please? Oh my God. Okay. The penultimate thing on my bucket list is have a family games night. Having a family games night would be so fun. You can play Monopoly, Uno, Bop It. No, you can't play Bop It. You play Bop It on your own, I think. Um, <laughs> I love Bop It. No, no, no. Um, you can play loads of different games. Cluedo. There's loads of games. You know games. Pictionary, charades. You can just play a family. I have a family games night. It's fun. Have a friends games night if you don't know. No, um, I can't talk. If you don't live at home, have a friends games night. Just like have a games night with a few people. I just think that's fun. You know, it's festive. You all get together. So that's really good. I love games nights. 
and the last bucket thing on my bucket list kind of does link into that i guess and uh, to make time for family and friends i know how busy years can be like we haven't seen each other either because covid and we just get out of the pandemic it's the first proper christmas where we can all see each other again make time for your family make time for your friends go see who you can go see your loved ones and just remember the main thing about christmas is just like being around people seeing all your friends and family so schedule out your diary make time make time make plans with them go see them even if you just go around for a hot chocolate and in like or a cup of tea and a chat do you know what i mean just go around make time anyway guys that is my christmas bucket list for 2021 i hope you like this video if you do make sure you subscribe make sure you turn your notification bells on bells just one bell turn your notification bell on if you like this video and comment down below what's on your christmas bucket list this year give the video a like if you liked it obviously <laughs> And I'll be uploading the next couple of days with another Christmassy video because it's just Christmas now until January. Sorry, if you don't like it, then please move. <laughs> Bye.